Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and I am an independent Scentsy consultant and I am here today to do um, a couple of things. I do have two very large Scentsy boxes here next to me. One of them is all of the Mother's Day stuff that I picked up and the other one is the second half of my flash sale that finally shipped and delivered and it was actually delivered on the same day as my mother's day items um so what i'll probably do is do two separate videos um because i want to kind of give mother's day its own video so that way we can just get into it and i can give you all the, the details and all of that good stuff um and then we can do the flash sale in a separate video um so that way it's not all jumbled with mother's day stuff so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna start out with mother's day um so then just stay tuned probably uh tomorrow or the next day after posting mother's day will i post the flash sale haul so Packing slip, paper for my cat, he loves it, okay. all right, so, oh, awesome, they did do that, okay. So we'll save the warmer for last because I did get the warmer and I'm super excited about it. Um, but we'll we'll do that one last. I did get a pod pack, a six pod pack of the new fragrances. I got three of each. Um, and if, for, in my opinion, I like to kind of stock up on pods that are limited time offer because who knows when they'll be back um so i do have a good amount of like the vanilla bourbon pods the fiji flower pods the um which one came out the blue agave and melon pods um i do have like multiples of those pods and i honestly probably need to start using those <laughs> I'm so bad when it comes to like stuff that I'll never be able to get again. I don't want to use it, but it's not doing me any good just sitting there. So I need to just bite the bullet and use them. So anyways, um, so there's the two new fragrances that came out with this collection. Um, the first one is called Whipped Vanilla Lavender. And I'll have to put this in descriptions in the description of this video because like always i don't have them with me so check out the description if you want to know the description of these scents oh this is really nice in the pods which typically for the most part they are pretty similar to the wax however with the wax you have all those different layers of notes um, so it is possible to kind of get a different, um, feel or different notes, um, a different experience when you're melting it versus just the one scent kind of, um, deal you're getting with pods. Cause it's not very easy to kind of build a dynamic scent with pods, if that makes any sense. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, uh, when you're warming wax, you'll have that first initial, like, okay, right out of the gate, this is what it smells like. And then some scents have a tendency to kind of like change over time um, as those like top notes are getting melted off. So it's, excuse you, sir, that's my stuff. No chill, this cat. No chill. Anyways, um, I hope I'm making sense with that. So typically with the pods, what you smell is what you get. Um, 
versus with wax, when you can have a completely different experience while you're melting it and while it's warming. So you definitely get the lavender right off the bat with this. But it, it is, oh my gosh, it is named perfectly. It does smell like you somehow have like this whipped cream infused with lavender. Hey, 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 sir, please do not. Thank you. Sorry, he's clawing at my couch. Um, usually he really doesn't do that. I don't think he just wants attention right now, but you know, he's got his scotchy post teeth for that. So anyways, um, so when I went to Disneyland just recently, we took my six year old for the first time. She was super stoked. She loved it by the way. Um, there was this store in downtown Disney that has like really exotic flavors of ice cream. I cannot for the life of me remember what that store was called. Um, but they had a lavender honey ice cream flavor and it tastes so similar to this. Like if you've ever had lavender ice cream, this is it. It's just so creamy and like, it is like an herbal lavender, I would say slightly perfumey oh, yes that is definitely what I was hoping for um but ever since I've had that ice cream like I just loved that ice cream it was so good um so if you're ever in the downtown Disney area in Anaheim California um check it out I don't remember what it was called, but they have all kinds of tasty ice creams. Um, anyways, so super excited for that. Uh, and the pods are something that I put in my car and that would be a perfect car scent. And then Sparkling Magnolia is the other scent that released. So you can check out the description in the video if you want to know the description and the kind of basic scent notes for these fragrances because I'm just wildly unprepared here. Okay, this is floral, of course. That's kind of what you expect with a magnolia scent. It is sweet, though. It's not too powdery, at least in the pots. So far, like I said, these uh, first impressions that I'm giving right now are specific to the pods. We'll bust out the bars here in just a minute so I can give my opinion of the bars. Um, and then of course, I will give my opinion of them warming once I warm through them. But I can tell these are definitely gonna be favorites of mine. This one smells almost familiar. Hmm, is it blue hyacinth that I'm thinking of? Maybe. I don't know, I'm gonna have to grab a bar and see. Not right now, but. Hmm. But that's good. Um, in comparison to the whipped vanilla lavender, this one is definitely more like herbal than fl uh, floral, I would say. Well, herbal is kind of floral, but it's definitely like primarily lavender. Um, this one does smell a little bit lighter than the whipped vanilla lavender, the sparkling magnolia. But it is good. It's a sweet floral scent. I like it. Oh, I'm so excited. So that was the pods. And I did do the body bundles. Um, so if I remember correctly, 
I think the Scentsy Soak, so all of the body products are only available in the whipped vanilla lavender. Um, they didn't bring it out in the sparkling magnolia, which I think this is a perfect fragrance for body, especially in the Scentsy Soak. I think it'll do really good. So the bundles, I wanna say it was the Scentsy Soak and the body cream that came in one bundle. Let me see, does it say on here? No, of course it doesn't. Anyways. And then you had the, what was it? And then you had the hand cream, the cream shave soap, which is cool. This is a product I've never tried before. So I'm super excited to give it a try. And then these two came with the um, sugar scrub. So I believe this was the correct, well, hold it. The correct bundle, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be wrong. And I will put in the description if I am wrong. Uh, cause again, I just wanted to, I was so excited to get this package opened, um, that I completely forgot to check on that. But anyways, moving right along. Oh, an air purifier replacement filter, uh, because my poor little air purifiers, I've been struggling lately. I just recently moved it from the kitchen to my like family room playroom area. So um, it hadn't cleaned in here before. So it was kind of like sucking everything up and it was just like it was in a brand new home almost because it was in a completely different location that had never experienced the joys of an air purifier before. So it went to town and now it needs a new filter so pick that up um i might do a video showing how to replace the filter and how to reset the light on it um yeah anyways moving right along back to actual mother's day stuff more paper for juju i did get a three pack of fragrance flowers. And so through, so for the month of April, the rest of April and the month of May, I wanna say, oh, maybe it was just until Mother's Day. Darn it, I have to check on that too. I'm so sorry. This is just like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I really should have been more prepared, but. Anyways, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Um, fragrance flowers are 20% off. Yes, they're 20% off um, for this promotional period. I wanna say it ends May 31st. Don't quote me though, check the description for all of the correct details. Um, I'm just here to talk and smell some fragrance. Um, yeah, so check the description for all of the accurate information. Don't just go based off what I'm saying because I didn't double check anything. So not prepared. But anyways, I got a pink cotton fragrance flower. I did the three pack. I got a whipped vanilla lavender and sparkling magnolia. So both of the new fragrances did come in the fragrance flower, so I picked one of each up. Now, for some wax. And I'm so glad that they put this in a thermal bag because it has been 
in the 90s here. I'm in Central California and it has been so hot. Okay. And they're nice and cool still. So I did a six bar bundle. I did three of each. The sparkling magnolia with vanilla lavender. And it came with an ice pack. My oldest daughter really likes these ice packs because she puts them like in her lunches. She puts them on her arm when she's pitching um, to ice her arm. These are really great to reuse over and over again. So. Let's go ahead and give these a sniff. Um, I'll start with the with vanilla lavender. Oh, and this is so good. It does smell just like the pods to me. Um, but again, like I said, that could definitely change while it's warming. Even like the top to the bottom could be completely different, which is why I'm gonna take this out. I want to say the bottom smells just a tad bit like creamier. And less herbally. Mm. It is so good though. And it smells like it might be a pretty good performer too. I just love lavender scents and this is a really good one. It's just so like perfectly herbal um, and it's just like creamy and smooth lavender. Not that like harsh in your face like lavender, if you know what I mean. It's really nice and smooth. Oh, this one is so good. Like this one's probably going to go in my club. Especially if it's a good performer, if it's strong. Even if it's like a medium, I'll probably still put it in my club. Oh, okay. moving on. Sparkling Magnolia is the next one I'm going to smell. Okay, I think it is reminding me of Blue Hyacinth. Um, it's definitely another one of those sweet florals. So I'll definitely have to compare the two. Maybe I'm completely off, um, but it is reminding me of another like super like sweet floral. But it is good. Um, I've only smelled the Magnolia Linen in a tester. I haven't smelled it um, in a full bar. But it is definitely different from the Magnolia Linen. Um, it's not as like powdery or as like laundry. Like it's completely like sweeter. So like, um, God, it is so good. It's not powdery at all to me. Um, I think if you like blue hyacinth, you'll probably like this one as well. But it's not as strong in your face. It is a little bit more subtle and sweet, if that helps. So that's a sparkling magnolia. So uh, that is most of what I've got. I do have the warmer that I'm so excited about. Um, so let's go ahead and get that open. Um, but that was pretty much all of the body and fragrance products that are part of this collection. Um, 
like I said, we are having a sale on fragrance flowers right now. Um, so yeah, um, and that sale includes all fragrance flowers. So not just the Mother's Day ones um, and not just the three packs. You can get, like if you just purchase one fragrance flower on its own, um, you will still get that discount. So, without further delay, here's the box. It's called With Strength. does have a little frosted glass dish with the number four on the bottom. Um, and I don't believe I've ever said in any of my videos that I've done warmer unboxings, but there is a small number four. You can probably see it better from this side, but it's backwards, but there is a small number four right here. Um, it's not always a number four. Um, I have only ever seen a number five. For the most part, you are gonna get fours, um, but basically what that number is, and this was confirmed by the uh, CEO's Heidi and Orville, that that is the number, the recommended number of scent cubes for optimal fragrance throw. So there is a lot of confusion about whether that means a lot of people think that this number indicates the maximum number of cubes um, to put in your warmers. Um, so that way you avoid an overflow situation. Um, but according to the CEOs, Heidi and Orville, that number is recommended number of cubes for optimal fragrance experience, scent throw, um, you're gonna get your best experience using this recommended number of cubes. So, just so everyone knows, that is what that is. So, nice frosted glass dish. And a number four. Here is the bowl. And it is a 25 watt bulb. And the warmer. My lighting is not the best. I'm doing this at like one in the morning when everybody is at sleep, is either asleep or at work. Um, so here is this unlit and it is a ceramic texture and it is kind of a um, porous texture um, so you're not gonna want to spill anything on this it's not glazed over um, so you're gonna need to be very careful uh, not to get any wax or anything else that this could just soak right up and absorb and stain fits on just like that and there you have it so cute oh, maybe I do maybe I can put this in for you okay that is it all lit up you can see that really nice glow let me see if this is gonna sorry just trying to move you a little 
little bit closer so you can see. Yeah, that's not helping. You can kind of see a little bit. So the flowers on either side. Um, what I'll do is I will go ahead and also insert pictures um, or a video or I will do a short just showcasing this warmer. I'll probably do that um, because it's not showing up very nicely, but you can still kind of see the idea of the glow that it has. I'm going to push this back just a little bit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Just so you're not like all in my face. But isn't it so pretty? It says, strong women, may we know them, be them, raise them. So that is the goal. And I absolutely am in love this, with this warmer because I'm a mom of three girls. So it is definitely my goal to raise three strong women. Um, yeah. And so that is my Mother's Day haul. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it didn't bug you too much me trying to show you this warmer lit moving the camera and all that stuff. So I'm sorry if it did. Um, but I will probably make a little short video showing how gorgeous this warmer is when it is lit um, but you can guys see it does give off a really nice soft glow um, but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day leave me a comment and let me know if you have had a chance to smell any of these fragrances what you picked up from the Mother's Day section what you would like to pick up from the Mother's Day collection um, yeah I'd love to know so have a good day bye